classroom management for supply teachers, substitute teachers and cover supervisors. Being a stand-in teacher can be challenging, but with the right strategies, you can create a positive and productive classroom environment. So, let's jump right into it. Number 1. Have a backup plan. We have the golden rule. Always have a backup plan. Imagine this. You walk into a classroom, ready to show a video lesson, only to find out the equipment isn't working. Disaster, right? That's why it's crucial to have extra activities up your sleeve. These activities can save you from boredom-induced disruptions and help you maintain control of the classroom. Number 2. Get there early. Before the students arrive, take a moment to gather information about the class dynamics. Who might need more support? Who might test your limits? Armed with this knowledge, you can plan strategies to manage various behaviors and even set up productive group activities. Number 3. Meet and greet. When the students start trickling in, greet them at the door with a smile. While it's tempting to answer their questions right away, let them know you'll introduce yourself once everyone's settled. This approach saves time and sets a positive tone for the class. Number 4. Introduce yourself. Writing your name on the board and sharing a little about yourself can go a long way in building rapport. Acknowledge that you're not their regular teacher but reassure them that learning won't be compromised. Number 5. Stop negative behavior early. Negative behavior needs immediate attention. Approach disruptive students calmly, acknowledging positive behavior first. This approach shows students that you're observant and fair, setting the stage for effective behavior management. Number 6. Learn student names. Learning students' names is a game changer. Create a seating plan and associate names with memorable mental images. This simple trick helps you connect with students quickly and shows that you care. Number 7. Balance management. Remember, balance is key. Avoid coming across as overly strict. Instead, focus on building relationships. Striking a balance between authority and approachability can help you gain respect and cooperation. Number 8. Keep your cool. Keeping your cool is essential. Don't let students' attempts to provoke you succeed. Maintain confidence and avoid reacting impulsively, especially in the face of minor disruptions. Number 9. Identify troublemakers early. Identify students who may be more challenging and engage them positively. Assign responsibilities to these students, making them feel valued and included in the classroom dynamic. Number 10. Understand the usual praise and responses. Understand the school's praise and reward system, as well as their approach to handling misbehavior. Communicate your readiness to use these systems to maintain order and acknowledge positive behavior. Number 11. Use your usual routines. Utilize established classroom routines, even as a substitute teacher. These routines provide consistency and clarity for students, reducing potential disruptions during transitions. Number 12. Set expectations for students on report. Set expectations for students who may have a history of behavioral issues. Discuss the standards you're looking for, fostering a positive atmosphere while maintaining clear boundaries. Number 13. Leave on a positive note. Finally, always end on a positive note. Praise well-behaved students and say goodbye with a smile. Leaving a positive impression can pave the way for a smoother return to the classroom in the future. Thanks for watching. Want to master classroom management? Get your free copy of Classroom Management Success in 7 Days or Less, usually £9.99 on Amazon. Click the link in the description below. Don't miss this chance to supercharge your teaching skills. Click the link, grab your free book, and create an amazing classroom. Like, subscribe, and happy teaching.